Well, there is a cave hidden in a mountain in Western Mass. That's right. And inside, there's a power source that can light up hundreds of thousands of homes in New England in a matter of minutes. In tonight's Eye on Earth, WBZ meteorologist Jacob Wyckoff takes us inside. On the outside, it may look like any other New England mountain, but tucked inside this big hill in Northfield sits one of the biggest single sources of green energy in the Northeast. The tunnel might remind you of the villain's lair in some James Bond flick, and it takes a full minute to descend the half mile into the generator room. So are we in the middle of Northfield Mountain now? Essentially, we're in the middle of it, yes. So we're 800 feet below surface above the power station. The cavern is so big, from floor to ceiling, a five-story building yeah. could fit inside. My tour guide is Neil Slocum, an operations manager for Northfield Mountain. I've heard this nicknamed the Bat Cave. Why is it called the Bat Cave? Well, we have had bats down here, <laughs> but not very often. No, the caped crusader doesn't live down here either. The real reason, Northfield Mountain is a gigantic battery. Their four turbines can generate up to 292 megawatts each. They're wow. 80, 90 feet tall. Um, in excess of just the, just the rotor itself is 400 tons. 400 tons, wow. The power source for these turbines, water. The upper reservoir is a thousand feet deep with five billion gallons of usable H2O. Basically the way Northfield Mountain works is by moving water up and down and generating electricity in between. Water moves down through the mountain into uh, four uh, turbines. That's uh, essentially again a giant water battery. As Alicia Barton, CEO for First Light Power explains, is, really this battery has some seriously exactly impressive storage. Exactly. The power, uh, essentially half of the smartphone phones in the United States of America with what we can generate here. Uh, another way to think about it is, again, up to a million New England homes on any given day. So that's a um, pretty significant footprint and impact that we can have. About 10% of the total grid consumption in New England can be from Northfield Mountain, huge amounts from a single source, and the type of numbers needed for Massachusetts to hit its climate goals of net zero by 2050 and a 50% reduction in carbon by 2030. That is the most aggressive 2030 target that's been adopted by any state in the country. So we do have a lot of work ahead of us. The state is recognizing we need a lot of tools at our disposal to get to our ultimate goals, and the state is working hard to put those pieces in place. And while Northfield Mountain has been an engineering marvel since its construction back in 1972, Barton says, I think the next 50 years are going to be even more exciting for Northfield Mountain. The pace of change is actually happening very fast. I've been working in clean energy and climate issues my entire career, and there's never been a more exciting moment than there is today. Just a couple of weeks ago, for the first time ever in Western Massachusetts, a vehicle-to-grid charger was installed here, and Barton tells me that this is just another small step forward to Massachusetts going net zero. At Northfield Mountain, I'm Jacob Wyckoff, WBZ News. Wow, so cool. Right, incredible stuff going on. You can tell it's not a James Bond lair because there's no shark full of tanks <laughs> to torture him with, <laughs> but amazing technology. <laughs>